today we will go on with radial stylar fracture ok. So, radial stylar fracture is best treated with that is the question closed reduction BE cast closed reduction above elbow cast open reduction internal fixation K wire fixation these are the options. I will come to the answer straight forward the best treatment one can give for radial stylar fracture always is closed reduction and below elbow POP cast radial stylar fracture that is the best treatment ok. There are certain good points in radial stylar fracture this is otherwise called Schaffer's fracture Hutchinson's fracture or backfire fracture three synonyms are there all these synonyms have already appeared in all our Indian exams nothing new ok. So, why it is called Schaffer's fracture probably may be knowing the reason no need to explain everyone knows that Schaffer means a driver Schaffer is nothing but a sophisticated terminology for a driver uh, certain areas know when somebody is cooking in an ordinary hotel or on roadside we call them cook the same guy when the, he works on a 5 star hotel is called a chef. The main thing is that dish should be uh, tasty that is all ok the name changes like that when some, somebody drives an ordinary man with a normal pant like as when he drives a Maruti car he is called a driver the same guy with a white on white uniform and when he drives a Merck or a BMW he is called a chauffeur that is all. Why it is called chauffeur's fracture? In olden days before Henry Ford era, Henry Ford uh, the company he is the founder and owner of the Ford company, eh, Ford car company Henry Ford he was the man who invented uh, ignition that is self starter. Before him there was no self starter you cannot give a key and you cannot start a car self starter was not uh, invented. Henry Ford invented the self starter that is the biggest invention by Henry Ford ok. So, before that one has to take a rod that is called handle go in front of the car there will be a hole probably when you watch old English movies Titanic all these movies the car will come. So, you have to put that handle you have to start the car like this once the car has started it will give a backfire it will give a backfire that rod will come and hit the radial styli directly. So, that was called Schaffer's fracture backfire fracture and that was first introduced by the famous medicine Hutchinson. So, it is called Hutchinson's fracture that is why these are the synonyms Schaffer, Hutchinson backfire fracture ok. So, this is radial styloid it is a harmless fracture because it is extra articular no problem in healing or something like that. So, it does not need see you look at the last line I have typed like this however unstable need percutaneous fixation this would not hold, hold good for an MCQ. So, please strike out the last line just you should have in your mind the best treatment for radial stylar fracture whether it is displaced or not it is closed reduction below elbow POP cast it will heal fantastically in 45 days ok no need to worry about this fracture right. So, coming to the <coughs> next fracture Barton's ok. So, we started with the clavicle and we finished shoulder then humerus elbow Montegia Galliesi SX low prasthi radial styloid tip we had come and now we are Barton's fracture ok. One of the following regarding Barton's fracture is true ok. One of the following statement about Barton's is true only one thing is true it is invariably intra articular it involves proximal radius it involves styloid process treatment is essentially surgical. Which one of the following is probably the right answer shall I tell the answer. So, one of the following about Barton's fracture is true it is invariably intra articular the only criteria to say a Barton's fracture see distal radius fractures that is fracture involving the distal radius common fractures are Coley's, Barton's, radial styloid these three fractures one should not forget common fractures. Among this to say somebody is having Barton the first and last criteria it should be invariably intra articular then only it is called Barton. When it is extra articular the same fracture is called colis. A distal radius fracture which is intra articular is called Barton. A distal radius fracture which is extra articular is called colis ok. So, one of the following about Barton's is true it is invariably intra articular ok. So, it is a very famous MCQ and you see Barton's fracture only this much point you can expect in MCQ. It is a vertical marginal intra articular fracture lower end of the radius two types of Barton's are there Volar Barton, Dorsal Barton. 